Dionysius Salamos is considered the national poet of modern day Greece. He is best known for his writing of the Hymn to Liberty, mainly because the first four stanzas were set to music to become the national anthem in 1865. Dionysius Salamis was an illegitimate child of his father, who was 61, and his maid, who was only 17. At the age of seven, Dionysius was under the supervision of his Italian tutor, Santa Rossi. He then went to Italy with Santa Rossi to finish high school and go to college. He was enrolled at Pavia's University's Faculty of Law, from which he graduated in 1817. Given the interest the young poet showed in the flourishing Italian literature and being a perfect speaker of Italian, he started writing poems. One of the most important first poems written in Italian was Ode per la prima messa, Ode to the First Mass. Another early poem that he had written is called The Dream. My soul, goddess of beauty, listen to what I have dreamed. With you I was one night. All to me so slended seemed. We two walked together in a garden of small size. All the stars shone brightly, and on them you kept your eyes. I was asking them, stars say, if there among you lies one that shines from above like my lovely lady's eyes. Say whether you ever saw on others such pretty hair, such an arm, such a limb, an angelic vision fair, such a figure full of beauty, at once a question brings. If this creature is an angel, why is she lacking wings? After economic disputes with his brother, Demetrius, concerning legacy matters, Salamis moved to Corfu. It was during this period of time that he took up studying German romantic philosophy and poetry. In the meantime, he continued to work on The Woman of Zakynthos and Lambros that he had started in 1826. Between 1833 and 1838, having restored the relations with his brother, Salamis' life was perturbed by a series of tri trials where his half-brother, from his mother's side, was claiming part of their father's legacy. In 1847, Salamis started writing in Italian once more. Salamis' character became even more temperamental after serious health problems made their appearance in 1851. He alienated himself from friends, and after his third stroke, the poet did not leave his house. Salamos died in February of 1857 from apoplexy. His fame had reached such heights, so when the news about his death became known, everyone mourned. Corfu's theater closed down, the Ionian Parliament sessions were suspended, and mourning was declared. Salamis's dream was to make knowledge and literature accessible to everyone, and not only to the very few highly educated scholars. Salamis lived and created at a time when Greece was under Turkish occupation, and his works inspired the revolution. <laughs> Signe foca tachnia.